Alright! <laughs> Woken from my slumber! Good to see you up instead ah. of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? <clears throat> Uh, yes, I do remember, actually. Of course I flaming remember. Karth, the one on the communicator. Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try days? not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. <laughs> I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Ah, well, lucky for you, eh? Came out unscathed, and poor me had almost got concussion or something, eh? Well, I suppose... I owe you my life. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Okay, okay, yes, I'm quite adept in speaking foreign tongues, eh? Very nice. Bastila, that's I recognize that name. She's the one from the Endar Spire, right? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. Watch your lip. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Hmm. Really? Well, if she's a Jedi, I'm sure she can look after herself. Bastila's gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important, but if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. And Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. <laughs> battle meditation? The hell's that? Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help, and we'll probably need hers. I was going to say, I think we would probably be more beneficial for her to help us, to be perfectly frank with you. But hey, oh, what can you do? Right. Let's take a look at these options here. Do, 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 do. I suppose if it means getting off this planet, I suppose I can uh, help you find Bastila. Good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Okay. Well, before I go blundering on out looking for this Bastila woman, i better ask you some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Okay. Well, first of all, this Malak chap and the Sith. What do you know about these people? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. 
With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Oh dear. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Hmm, raw, brutal power, eh? You can't say it's uh, totally a bad thing, but hey ho! Uh, sounds like Malak and Sith have the right. Mm, maybe not quite so blunt just yet. Don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith. No. Okay. A Jedi? Do you mean he used to be a Jedi? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Oh dear. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Oh my god. Isn't that something? Right, well... Let's see if we can ask you something else. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Don't you worry, I'll be the judge of how helpful the information that you give me is. You just tell me. What can you tell me about this planet? Taris, that we've crash-landed on. Taris was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... That's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Ah! Very handy of you. Should be thanking you again, should I? Okay. I'd like to know some more about you, Captain, though. I don't... No, I don't indeed. Okay. I suppose the sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we... Find her, so might as well stop moving. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind, it can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Let's move out indeed. Thank you for your wealth of knowledge, coffee. Right. Let me just get my bearings here. We're, we're in an apartment, it seems. And there's a locker there, and there is something here. Ah, workbench. Ah! It's a place where I could upgrade my weaponry, if I'm not mistaken. Computer spikes and med packs. Thank you. Throughout the game you will find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. These items can be improved by the addition of an upgrade item. With upgrade items you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers and armor. So if I'm not very much mistaken, I have a saw that I can upgrade. I think. The prototype thingamabobsy. Vibro, vibro blade. There, which this one here? Prototype vibro blade. Uh, upgradable, you see. Special upgradable. So not only is it better critical, not only does it uh, give us a advantage if we use it in the offhand, but we can upgrade it as well. And we have something to upgrade it with. We have a uh, vibration cell, which I think gives us a bonus to physical attack. Hit and damage, yeah, better hit and better damage. So uh, we'll upgrade it. There we go. Upgrade the vibro blade with the part. Ah, so uh, it seems that maybe each upgradable weapon 
has different slots that you can upgrade. So you can upgrade it with a vibration cell, with a Jira Steel bonding alloy, which gives us an extra attack bonus and damage bonus, and also energy projector. Ah, handy. Well, for the moment, all we have is a vibration cell, so stick it on, and fingers crossed. Oh, oh yes, I give my blades a wee spin, and um, if we have a look at the weapon. Uh, there we go, plus two physical now. It used to be plus one, now it's plus two physical, so that's nice. Upgraded our offhand weapon. <clears throat> nice. Okay, Mr. Carthy. I suppose you're going to be part of my party now, are you? Although technically you're not on my thing. Maybe I have to add you from the map section here. Party selection. No, that function is unavailable at this time. Alright. Maybe it's not then. Well, there's nothing else to interact with in here, so uh, suppose we can... Uh, Head on out, after I've quick saved it. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Since this is your first time you're leaving, you'll have to take Karth. Ah, there he is. A level 4 soldier. If I must. There's a bit of... Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! What? Why do you keep bothering us? Oh, that's a daisy! <laughs> Don't ask questions, sonny! That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Oh, you're going to attack us, are you? Well, that's not a wise decision. Now, I would ordinarily use a grenade, but I'm too close. And there's a friendly guy here as well, so... Uh... Okay. Well, before we fight, I'm just going to uh, take a look at Mr. Carthy here and see exactly what we can do with him. He's got a... what's he got in his right hand? Cast Blaster? And then he's got a blaster pistol. So he's dual wielding guns. Let's have a look at his stats to see what his stats are. He's got uh, high dexterity, which probably means I should use him as a ranged uh, combatant. Okay, uh, stick him on default attack script. That's fine. And uh, what else can we do with him? Can we upgrade his clothing? Not particularly. Anything else we can equip him with? Nope. So, cast blaster and blaster pistol. We do have a um, ion blaster. Is that a two-handed weapon or a one-handed weapon? No. Damage ion one to four. Wait a second. Wait a second. So an ion blaster is quite good against droids. A normal blaster pistol is one to six damage, range twenty-three. This is a shorter range, less damage, but better against droids. Critical threats the same. Balance plus two plus zero versus two weapon penalty if using the offhand, and that's the same. <clears throat> Are these droids? Yes, they're droids. Well then. Sorry about this folks, I know it's the most exciting, but uh I want to get make sure I get this right. Let's take let's put a let's put the ion blaster in here for now. Okay. So he's dual wielding. Ion blaster in one hand. And cast blaster in the other. That's fine. 44 hit points, level 4. Let's have a look at his skills. He is uh, rank 1 in computer use. 
Awareness. Rank 1 in Persuade. Rank 2 in Repair. A little tiny bit of security. And treat injury, not bad. So, I think his main strength will probably be repair. Maybe if we focus him on repair in the future. What about his feats? Let's take a look. Two weapons, so he's got actually quite a. He's got improved two weapon fighting, <coughs> which is why he's uh, not suffering any penalties. He is proficient in all types of armor, he has power attack. He's also got Power Blast. Well, that's the same thing, but certainly me. Okay. He's a specialist in blaster pistols. So Power Blast. Okay. Right, Mr. Carthy.